Mollahan constructed the mill in 1894. Beth Mollahan, his great granddaughter, who resides nearby, owns the mill. It is unusual in that the water wheel is horizontal to the water rather than vertical. The mill is a National Historical Site and was listed in the National Register Information System September 2, 1982. The Mollahan Mill was the first historical site to be listed in Webster County. From the Mollahan Mill, we return to the Hanging Rocks and turn left on County Route 3 for 1.7 miles to Chestnut Grove. This bituminous road is an almost constant upgrade. About halfway up the hill, one experiences the thrill of yet another horseshoe bend. During the 1800s and first half of the 20th century, Chestnut Grove was the hub of this rural community containing a church and a one-room school. Currently, due to the demise of the small hillside farmer and scarcity of population, only a few families reside in the area. One of the largest and best maintained cemeteries, the Chestnut Grove Cemetery, is located here. From Chestnut Grove, we continue on County Route 3 for 2.2 miles, passing the former Gibson store and the replete post office on our left to the replete kiosk and rest stop. County Route 3 junctions with County Routes 1 slash 1, 6, as well as Braxton County Route 24, enabling motorists to access I-79. The replete welcoming kiosk is located at the junction of County Routes 3 and 6. In close proximity to the kiosk is a gazebo-type shelter with picnic table for the convenience of motorists. Kermit Harper, a nearby resident, provides maintenance for the rest stop on a volunteer basis. He has adopted the spot through the West Virginia Adopt the Highway program. As we leave the replete kiosk, we take County Route 1 slash 1 and 4 to the Johnson home, a distance of 3.8 miles. This stretch of gravel road meanders down two very steep grades, although they may be negotiated most of the year by two wheel drive vehicles. The road goes through the Shock Town community, named in honor of Alstorfius Shock, who lived and owned a store there at the turn of the century. After leaving Shock Town, we pass a very interesting tree formation. The tree trunk is normal for the first 15 to 20 feet of growth, when it separates into two branches for approximately three feet, and then grows back together into one trunk, and continues in such a manner up the tree. The road intersects with County Route 4 at Boggs Mill. After turning right onto the County Route 4 spur, a drive of about one mile takes us to the Johnson home. The road parallels the Williams Camp Run and passes the site of the former Williams Camp School on our left. The Johnson home, constructed in 1886 by John N. Squire Johnson, is well preserved. It is one of the few remaining examples of 19th century architecture unique to the area. Consideration is being given to applying for its designation as a National Historical Site. An historical sign was recently erected near the home through the efforts of the Northern Webster County Improvement Council Incorporated through the National Scenic Byway Program created by the Transportation Equity Act for the 21st century. Mr. Johnson built some of the one-room schools of the area and served for a time as Justice of the Peace, thus the nickname Squire. He was married twice and fathered 19 children. From the Johnson home, we retrace our tracks one mile back to the Boggs Mill Stand. This too is a historical site and is marked by a sign funded by the same program as the Johnson home sign. A large rock remains that Andrew Andy Boggs reportedly moved from the Lewis County side of the Little Canal River to his mill site in the late 1800s. Boggs was a gunsmith and is also remembered throughout the area for his extraordinary physical strength. Boggs was the first to be buried on top of the hill east of the millstone. The cemetery is known as the Boggs Cemetery. The story is told that during the Civil War, Andy, who was sympathetic with the Confederacy, hid from the Yankees on that hilltop. He is said to have remarked, if one could hide from the Yankees there, surely it would be a good place to hide from the devil. 
From Boggs Mill, we take County Route 1 for 2.2 miles to the end of the backway where it enters West Virginia Route 20. This gravel road traverses an area that generally follows the right fork of the Little Canal River. Interesting rock formations and plant life can be seen along the route. It passes the residence of Randall McCartney, who makes lawn ornaments. His specialty is large lawn baskets. Just beyond the McCartney Place is the Leonard Brown Home. Leonard does nature paintings and woodcrafts. Near the Brown Home, the back way enters the Mountain Parkway, West Virginia State Route 20. The Northern Webster County Improvement Council, Incorporated appreciates your visit to the Mountain Parkway and hopes that you have had an enjoyable experience. Should you have any questions pertaining to the Parkway, please feel free to call 304-493-6532, email sja at mountain.net, visit our website at www.mountainparkway.com, or write Northern Webster County Improvement Council, Incorporated, P.O. Box 32, Hacker Valley, West Virginia. Please know that you are always welcome to visit the Mountain Parkway.